Greetings, and welcome to the Pirate vs. Ninjas Priest card showcase. Let's hop right into it. The first card we have to show off is the Naval Blockader. It's a 5 mana 2 9 taunt can't attack, which is already pretty solid. It's sort of a Death Lord in a way, but the downside isn't really the same. The Death Lord can really mess you up. This just can't attack, which isn't a huge deal, but even more importantly, it has a great Inspire fully heal this minion which means your opponent just really has to kill it in a single turn. If they try to get it over multiple turns, you can use your hero power on something completely different and end up fully healing this minion, which is insanely good for the priest. Next up is the Pirate Cleric. It is a 4 mana 2 5 pirate. Whenever a friendly character attacks, restore 2 health to it. So this is a way for the priest to essentially just hero power everything once they have attacked. And it is friendly characters, so you know if the priest gets his hand on a weapon, he does get healed. Minor benefit of this. More importantly though, when your minions are injured after maybe a light AoE or maybe just from trading after they attack, or whenever they attack rather, sorry, they get healed. So you can play a Northshire Cleric and a Pirate Cleric and then just start sending injured minions for attacks and draw a bunch of cards. You can buff up light wardens and holy champions and do anything like that or you can just heal them all up and the stats aren't great but they also aren't awful next up is the shifty priest a ninja for the priest it's a three mana three two with stealth already not bad at all however it has at the start of your turn restore one health to all friendly minions so it has an effect very similar to the healing totem in that it restores one health to everything however unlike the healing totem is it at the start of your turn however Better than the Healing Totem, it has a good amount of attack for it to trade into something, and also it has stealth so you cannot get rid of it. And also, healing in Priest is a lot more useful than healing in Shaman generally due to cards like Northshire Clerics, Light Wardens, and Holy Champions. Next up is Shadow Word Blindside, our first rare. It's a 4 mana spell, destroy target minion. If it has 4 attack, give it plus 2 plus 4 instead. So this card is thematically very interesting. It's mainly just, uh, play on the fact that Priest can't kill 4 attack minions. However, because of the fact that it cannot attack 4 attack minions, it's a little bit cheaper than what you'd expect. Just destroying a minion is 5 mana with Assassinate, but this is only 4 mana because you can destroy anything, and if it is 4 attack, you can actually buff the card. Now that can be used on your own minions with 4 attack to great effect. A plus 2 plus 4 buff is not excellent, but it also isn't terrible. It's not awful. You know, it can give you a little bit of extra damage or a little bit of extra health on a minion in order to push for that final damage. And also you can use it on an enemy minion to allow your Shadow or Death to uh, target it and various things like that, which gives you a lot of uh, flexibility with Shadow or Blindside. Next up is the Draconic Shinobi, a 6 mana 3 3 ninja. Battlecry, if you're holding a ninja, gain stealth. If you're holding a dragon, summon a 3 4 Dagon. The Dagon is simply a 3 mana 3 4 dragon, nothing special about it. But what is special is that this is a decent dragon card and a really good dragon ninja card, as silly as it sounds, because a 3 3 with stealth and a 3 4 dragon fit the Boulderfist Ogre stat line, split up in a fairly reasonable way. And even if you just put this in a dragon deck, if you put two copies of it, they might occasionally trigger each other. And even if you don't have it with a n more ninjas than that, you can play a fairly effective deck. Just because playing this, you know, split up body like this can be very strong for Priest. Next up is the Facilitate Trade, a 3 mana spell. Give all minions taunt, draw a card. So the theme here is simply, you know, you trade, and in order to facilitate trade, if all minions have taunt, no minions have taunt. The only thing that can't be attacked are heroes, so all minions can trade freely, and also it cycles itself, so it can be used to protect you, as well as cycle your deck a little bit. Next up is Return on Loans, the first epic we have. A 4 mana card, 4 mana spell. Shuffle your hand into your deck and restore 1 health to your hero for each card. Draw 3 cards. So this card is an insanely strong tool in Fatigue. And also a notably good tool in other types of decks that we'll get into, but it's quite interesting. So if you have a big hand of 10 cards, you can restore 10 health to your hero, but you kind of quote-unquote get rid of. You don't really get rid of all the cards, but you don't have them in your hand anymore. They're in the deck now, and then you draw three cards, so you might get them back if it's shuffled in your favor, but you want to use important cards before shuffling it into your deck. And it does give you a little bit of extra health. And it does draw three cards, so it's very good in a fatigue matchup because you can just have ten extra cards in your deck, theoretically. Maybe seven, I guess, because you draw three, but you can 
out fatigue basically anybody if you return on loans, but it is very slow. Getting rid of your entire hand so you fatigue slower and heal a little bit is not the strongest play, especially in a control matchup where fatigue matters, the healing isn't going to matter as much as well. However, it is also a little bit of an interesting note that in an aggressive deck, this card actually has quite a bit of potential just because it is only four mana to draw three cards if your hand is empty, which is kind of good. It's not crazy, but Agro Priest might find a home for maybe one of these. Next up is Revoke Contraband, a 1 mana epic spell. Remove all cards from other classes from your hand. Replace them with priest cards that cost 4 or less. So this is an insanely powerful effect that is very difficult to activate. Priest has a lot of cards that allow them to, you know, look into their opponent's deck and take cards. Mind, Vision, Thought, Steel, Shifting, Shade, all of these cards allow you to get cards from your opponent's hand and deck and see what they're thinking about, see what they're looking for. And this card is very cheap, it's only one mana. It allows you to get rid of cards from other classes, and you know, you can also play a card like uh, Grand Crusader, which adds a Paladin card to your hand. You can play a card like Nefarian, which gives you two more copies of a card from your opponent's class, and things like that. You can get rid of it all, and it gives you random Priest cards, which you probably can use better, unless you get some really good class cards. And then they cost four or less. Now, a four cost discount is insanely good. However, getting all those cards in the hand to get an insane amount of value is difficult. However, even just getting one or two cards, you're getting an 8 discount. Granted, they don't cost less than 4, but even then, you're getting a really strong amount of cards, and hopefully those cards will be useful to you. Although, if you don't have a good selection of priest cards when you get it back, and you just get things like Divine Spirits, the discount isn't going to be in full effect, and you might not be able to use the card very well. But even with that, it's still very strong. Lastly, we have High Priestess Ashana. 8 mana, 4 8, the legendary for Priest. Battle Cry, your hero power becomes give a minion plus 2 health and draw a card. So, High Priestess Ashana essentially makes your hero power power word shield, which is a damn good card, and it's a very powerful one. And even in a control matchup, this is a good card because you can play Revoke Contraband and the drawing of the card doesn't get you really that much closer to fatigue. If anything, it lets you refuel after throwing away the... or returning on loans, sorry, I misspoke. The return on loans card shuffles into your deck. But even then, your hero power, giving a minion plus two health, is a lot better, generally, than healing a minion for two health, because you can do it when they're at full health. That's great. You can do it when they're at full health. That's awesome. And drawing the card is also really good. It's like life tap, but you don't take damage. And that's awesome. That's really strong. Now. The notable downside is that you can no longer heal yourself, however priests do have plenty of ways to heal themselves anyway, not a huge deal, and you can also just play a decent minion. 8 mana for 4-8 is not the best thing ever, it's not fantastic, but it is very healthy, it's very durable, and can very likely at least clear some smaller minions, and against huge minions it might fall, but it will certainly injure them a little bit at the very least. That is the Priest Card Showcase. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.